Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Janet Wright and this video has two purposes. It is a recap video for the March 4th healing 2018 and it is the part two video of that recap. But it is also a really good standalone video that I definitely recommend uh, for people who want to clear fear, clear worry, uh, to build up their confidence, but also all, all for chakra quality. So financial stability, financial abundance, feeling safe, being safe. Um, I think it would be good for all that because that's those, all those qualities are um, from the first chakra. So once you calm it down by clearing the fear, which is what we're gonna do, then your first chakra functions better. So you get more financial abundance, you get more financial stability, you feel safe, you worry less, yada, yada. Okay, um, so this uh, technique is somewhat new. I mean, the idea of flower healing uh, is something that I've been doing in triplet sets for a little bit now in different interesting ways. Uh, flower healing, you just create energy that then you give to either yourself fully like this, um, like with enthusiasm healing, or um, you create energy flowers of a certain vibration and you give it to a stuck part of you. Um, like with insight healing, uh, you give it to a stuck part of you. Um, so this is that uh, where you clear fear and you're gonna give it to worried or fearful or you know fear-based hesitant parts of you. Uh, so a stuck part of you, a part of you that's stuck in fear, you're going to make awesome uh, courage flower healing energy um, and give it to yourself. I mean, actually it doesn't have to be a flower. I like that, I like making them as flowers. Um, and, and even in the healings, the male participants seem to be okay with that. But you can also make like balls of energy or like a sports car of energy. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter the form of it. What matters is the energy of it, okay? So it's gonna be a courage healing, basically. Okay. So first, I do, since we're handling fear, you know, I want to get everyone more present, more calm, more comforted, so that you're ready to do some real work, okay? So um, first, I'm going to show you my beautiful drawing. So I want to help people with grounding, okay? So grounding goes as high up as the third chakra, right below your sternum, and it goes all the way down to the core of the earth. and. I feel that it should be very wide, as wide as your whole aura, in order to give you maximum stability and maximum uh, like growth potential, because that way your whole aura can release energy blocks as easily as possible. So very key. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a very quick walkthrough of recreating your grounding as red or orange or yellow, whatever you feel is best for you right now. And then we're gonna even do yeah, I think we're going to do a quick earth energy soak of just one of those colors, red or orange or yellow, whichever is going to stabilize you the most right now. And uh, if you don't know which, I would suggest red, because red is a great color for the first chakra, the base of the spine. And that's the one that we're going to be kind of giving a workout in this video too. So you could do a nice big red grounding and bring up red earth energy all the way up from the center of the earth, which is called an earth energy soak. Uh, which there's a video called Tricolor Earth Energy Soak in the Quick Flow playlist. Okay, so imagine your big aura and you make your grounding that big all the way around and up as high as your third chakra. So your grounding goes high up to your third chakra and it goes low down all the way to the core of the earth and it's wide all the way down and flowing downward like a big waterfall. A big tree trunk, it could be, as long as that tree trunk has a huge downward flow to it. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a red grounding, as I suggested, but it could be orange or yellow, that would be okay too. And uh, so that's grounding, right? And then the earth energy soak is you bring an extra amount of the earth energy up, uh, as much as would be present in a very nice forest. Um, so just use that grounding like a big straw and just bring up extra earth energy from the core of the earth at the color that you want. So I'm gonna bring up red earth energy and soak my whole aura, my body, all the bones, all the organs, and even my aura above my body, um, above my head in the red earth energy, 
right? So you just leave it up there. Typically what that does is it's very calming, very soothing, very centering. So you could do that and leave it up like that all day if you wanted. Uh, but certainly when you're about to do some type of energy clearing that you want, you want to be kind of ambitious with, um, it'd be nice to sort of anchor you and get you present, okay? So again, that is, uh, that kind of effect is what is done with the Tricolor Earth Energy Soak video, which is only six minutes and even good for kids. And also the Quick Flow playlist has all sorts of things like that in it. Okay, so now we're going to do the Courage Healing using most likely flowers. <laughs> So what you do, um, in the healing, I had people do between five to seven parts of themselves that were stuck in fear or worry or fear-based hesitation. Uh, yeah, fear, worry, fear-based hesitation, nervousness. Those are all the different words and ways people think of the same kind of energy. So anyway, um, but we're gonna do it just one at a time. So first, let's do an easier one, okay? So imagine a part of you that is stuck in worry or fear or fear-based hesitation, but it's not like the hugest, most stuck part of you because you don't wanna start with the toughest one, okay? So just, it's like you have you right here, all of you, but then just separate out a part of you that's worried or fearful or fear-based hesitant. Right? And so just have that part of you sit in a chair, you know, uh, in front of you. And then you're gonna make these gorgeous flowers, big, big, big flowers. You know, just, I like to have my hands like this first and then I just create them with my hands as my hands separate. They're like full of giant flowers <laughs> of energy. And go ahead and make them red because uh, red is a real good color for the first chakra. So your favorite shade of red, all these huge flowers of your vibration of courage, not my vibration of courage, not, of some person that you look up to. No, it has to be your vibration because that's the only thing that's gonna heal that part of you. So big, huge red courage flowers, just the vibration that that part of you is gonna need. And your spirit is really smart, so don't overthink this, just do it. Okay, imagine, big, big, big red courage flowers. And then you're gonna have your angels double check and bless what you did. So you know you're doing it right, right? So just say, angels, please double check and bless these flowers. And that'll work because your angels can hear you perfectly. Okay. And then you're going to just give these flowers to that stuck part of you. So just, you know, hand them forward. So what happens is the stuck part of you accepts the flowers, is kind of drawn to the flowers because it's an obvious fix to what the problem. And then as soon as the two energies are connected, like the fearful stuck part of you and the courage flowers, it's like there's this instant healing reaction. And then that part of you just sort of pixelates, like goes into little bits and comes into the full part of you, all healed now. Just nice. Okay. And um, let's do another one. Okay. Um, so... This one could be a medium one, you know, if you want, get a little bolder. <laughs> so think about, and you don't really have to, like you could do it consciously, like if you know something that you're terrified about <laughs> or, or, you know, you're hesitant to do, but you know, it's just that you're afraid, like it's not, there's not a, a, a logical reason, you know, other than fear. Um, but you can also just say, okay, fine, with my intention, I'm just putting a, a, a afraid part of me out in front of me. You know, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to see that part of you. Just make a chair with your imagination, have that part of you sit in a chair, bada bum, you know? So uh, I'm gonna do it that way this time. So I'm not gonna think about, you know, that part of me like logically, I'm just gonna make the chair and have that part of me sit in the chair that's, you know, afraid. And then I'm gonna make my beautiful red courage flowers. So you go ahead, do that too. Big red courage flowers, just the vibration that that part of you needs and have your angels bless them. Just say in your mind, angels, please bless and double check these flowers. 
and your angels like mine maybe just edited a little took out some of the flowers changed the vibration just a little and then now they're ready so go ahead and give those flowers to that stuck part of you And if that stuck part of you hesitates at all, mine didn't. But if that happens, you can just like talk to that part of you. Like, it's okay, you can take the flowers, they're healing. But chances are it'll just happen instantaneously. And then that healing reaction will happen. And then that part of you gets healed and it comes back to you automatically, all healed and not afraid. And that may take a couple seconds for it all to come back to you. I like that. Um, so again, another thing that uh, like, okay, I'm going to do one, which, you know, maybe applies to a lot of people, maybe uh, doing taxes, right? Uh, some people, you know, including myself have fear based hesitation about doing taxes, um, which is silly. I mean, the more the sooner you get it done, the the more clarity you'll have and the less uncertainty you'll have. But nevertheless, I delay. <laughs> less than in previous years because I do work on this uh, <laughs> so anyway um so make a chair out in front of you and put that part of you that is hesitant about doing taxes or you know if you have something similar you know something you're hesitant about but you know you're probably just scared <laughs> and put that part of you out in front of you maybe you're hesitant to dye your hair purple but you you figure otherwise it'd be a great idea <laughs> just an example Okay, so you have that part of you that's fear-based hesitant or worried or scared or anxious out in front of you and then you, uh, or feels unsafe, and then you make your big, beautiful courage flowers of your vibration of courage that that part of you really needs and you just, you know, focus on how awesome they are and then just ask your angels, angels, can you please double check and bless these flowers? And then once they're ready, just give them to that part of you okay <sighs> my angels say i'm gonna have to do courage flowers for taxes for about the next 10 days in a row because there are various past lives that i have regarding you know bill collectors and you know, tariffs from governments and, you know, all sorts of things that were not positive experiences. <laughs> you know, back when they had, uh, you know, much more severe uh, societies. But anyway, so, uh, so it could be that you're going to have an issue that you need to do courage flowers for you know, 10 days in a row too. <laughs> so, you know, you can make a note in your meditation journal if you want, uh, which is just a, just a book you write things in. It's not a special thing. You don't have to pay extra money for it. <laughs> Mine was, I'm sure like less than $3. Um, but you, you know, you could write in your meditation journal, do courage flowers for, and then just make a list of things that you're worried about. Um, or, you know, maybe just two or three things. So you don't have to spend all day on it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's how you do it. I mean, it's that simple. So let's, uh, just to finish off this video, let's uh, redo the earth energy soak because we wanna make sure since uh, we did those courage flowers that um, you have great grounding and great flow um, so that because it, it generally starts a big process of release that could last, you know, four days. Um, not like big as in bad or dramatic, um, as long as you keep your grounding flowing. Okay, um, so let's do that again. Um, so just think about your grounding, uh, think about your aura, make your grounding as wide as your aura. It could have pulled in, it could have gotten more narrow. So just recreate it at red or orange or yellow. And I think this time, you know, maybe I'll just do yellow. And uh, so it's wide all the way down to the center of the earth, flowing all the way down to the center of the earth. And it goes as high as your third chakra, right where your sternum ends. And go ahead and bring up, so that's grounding, right? And then just bring up an extra amount of earth energy that would be present in a forest. Uh, so bring up a whole bunch extra. 
So for me, I'm bringing up yellow earth energy, but you can do red or orange or yellow and just soak in it. Soak your whole aura, your whole body, your spirit, and just bring it all the way up, 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 up to the top of your aura and just let it soak, let it stay up there. And just for good measure, um, let's do a little bit of Divine Gold Sandstorm right on the ground because we want that flow to be fantastic, both in the bottom of your aura, but also your grounding throughout your grounding because you want to be able to release. Um, so go ahead, imagine a little mini you, similar to my silly drawing perhaps, <laughs> out in front of you. And just the Divine Gold Sandstorm is a little flex of gold light that you generate with your hands and your fingertips and just make it like a sandstorm and it just spins around and you know eases helps you release the blocks of energy and helps to unclog anywhere so the bottom of your aura each of those auras need aura layers needs to release and flow so you may have a couple that are a little clogged underneath your underneath your body the bottom of your aura so just use extra gold light there extra gold sandstorm and then throughout your grounding just make sure you got a nice strong release nice strong waterfall all right so that is earth energy soak it's grounding and earth energy soak and then the divine gold sandstorm just to just to make sure and if you like that kind of thing that whole quick flow playlist has a lot has at this point four of those videos okay so this video was uh, courage flower healing to help you to uh, help strengthen your first chakra and get it flowing better by uh, by really honing in on the parts of you that are most stuck in fear and worry and all that. So I hope it helped and I would love to hear your feedback. So feel free to post a comment under the video and if you liked the video also please give it a thumbs up and that will help other people find the video. Okay, bye.